in fact, that was uh, such an effective demonstration. The expected winner lost, and the underdog won. What has changed most is the infiltration of the web and digital media into so much of human society around the world. Ten years ago, it was mostly enthusiasts, mostly fairly well educated and, and relatively wealthy people uh, in mostly the Western world. Now we're seeing people everywhere in the world um, of all socioeconomic backgrounds taking advantage of not only the, the web, but of mobile media. And increasingly, the, what used to be the telephone for, for much of the world is a, an, an internet access device. These were uh, powers, the power to communicate, to persuade, to entertain, to make money from it, that used to be reserved for wealthy uh, organizations. You should take a lot of money to run a television broadcasting station or print a newspaper or create a telephone network. Now it doesn't take much money to um, create something new on the infrastructure that's already been created. I think we need, we need an ecology of, of journalists. We, we need people who understand what journalists have always uh, learned and been taught about finding the story, verifying the story, and making it into a story, and transmitting it in a way that people will not only understand, but be interested in. I wouldn't say that just because you are 18 or 20, and you have a laptop and a mobile phone, and you text all the time, and you Facebook a lot, that you necessarily understand how to use and deploy technologies to gather, verify, and uh, disseminate information. So I, I think that there's a, there's a lot to be learned about how do you co combine those traditional journalistic skills with the, the kind of meta skills of using technology. Mm -hmm.